Look at that. Smell that. <laughs> if you smelt it, if you put your nose to the screen, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> they haven't yet invented smell a vision. <laughs> mm. Shikaki. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. A Kenyan classic. Mm. Boy, that's so good it'll make you wanna slap your mama. What? Mama, mama, it, it was a joke. It's it's like a prank. Honestly, there's the camera. Dude, I think she's about to kill me. So please, promise me, you'll subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications, and for goodness sakes, please, delete my browser history. Hello everyone, welcome to Michael Pibos Therapy. Okay, in order to make the tastiest version of this Kenyan favorite, you're going to need the following. This is some olive oil, just a little. This is paprika, cumin, turmeric, and some salt. This is a short glass of freshly squeezed lemon juice. This is red, green, and yellow bell peppers. I just cut them into chunks that are not too large, not too small. This is crushed garlic, crushed ginger. This is some flank steak right here. See, flank steak has a lot of fat. But not too much fat, but it's really delicious and soft, tender. And this is some Old Spice. Use your favorite brand. You know, the best mshikaki usually requires some certain steps. Step one, take your ginger and your garlic and throw it in there, like that, and some salt. And then you just simply mix this, you know, massage it in. Okay, now once you've massaged all the ginger and the garlic inside, now you should cover it up and set it aside for like uh, at least two hours. Let that, pen that flavor penetrate in that. Like so. Now, you come to your, to your rub. Salt this uh, olive oil a little, and the lemon juice in that, and the old spice. Now put a, a teaspoon each, paprika, cumin, and turmeric. This is going to have so much flavor. And then you simply mix this in. See that? This is the rub. So this has been marinating for at least two and a half hours. Almost three hours. Now the garlic and ginger has penetrated it nicely. So, uh, first I'm going to start with the, these red onions. With a wet skewer, because you don't want it to burn, we're going to put that and then we alternate. Just push it through, like this. And then you alternate with that. It doesn't really matter the, the formation, just alternate it, like that. See how fatty this meat is. Nice and fatty. Then you put a green bell pepper, and so on and so forth. Put another onion, like that. Just alternate. Okay, now once you've arranged everything like this, huh? Next thing, simply putting them on the grill. Now I have my small uh, energy saving uh, grill right here. Simply arrange them down, like that. Let's move this juicy bone to the side. Like that. Simple, right? Like that. It's a small jiko, but small energy saving grill, but it's really good. Now we just wait for it to, you know, get nice and juicy. As that goes, you know, I'm known to use weird tools <laughs> in the kitchen. We had knives and weird tools. We have our rub here you simply apply this look at how that is coming out just slow and slow A few minutes in, 
One of these is ready. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm telling you, man. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Cut out under that. Too. Mm. Guys, you have to go try this, man. It's insane, I'm telling you. Mm. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Mm. And I'll see you on the next vlog. Later.